Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal. I am a part-time online reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. And in today's video, we're going over what I received in my America's Thrift Supply 100 pounds of ladies' blouses. So as you can imagine, 100 pounds of blouses is quite a lot to go through all at once. So I think I'm gonna split this video up into two parts. In the first video, we're going to go over how much I paid for the box, how many pieces I got in the box, also how the box looks when it's shipped to me. I'm gonna show you a little bit of how I organize some pieces. And in the first video, we're going over what I'm sending to thread up and also some miscellaneous items that I'm not really sure what I wanna do with. And then in part two, I'm gonna go over everything that I am personally keeping to list and sell myself. America's Thrift Supply is a thrift store chain, I think down in the South. My box came from Alabama. They recently just opened up their online website to sell mystery boxes and also these things called micro bales, which is exactly what I got. It's 100 pounds of ladies blouses and I haven't seen an unboxing of the blouse box at all on YouTube. I haven't really searched for it either, so they might be out there, but I have seen ladies dresses, which is what I originally wanted to get, but they were sold out, some shoes and jewelry. So I have seen quite a few of them. It is a new and upcoming secondhand wholesaler. However, please know that if you get 100 pounds of clothing, it is going to take you a while to process it all. So right now I'm gonna insert some video on how the box came to me, what it looked like inside, and then I'm gonna insert some clips of how I actually organized the items, and that took me a couple of days. I mean, yeah, I could have knocked it all out in one day over a few hours, but I did a little bit each night so that it wouldn't get overwhelming, but I needed to start processing this, so that's why we're gonna get this started. So here are the clips. All right, so this is what the box looks like. It's pretty banged up. Honestly, I'm surprised it's not even worse than it is because the box is like pretty flimsy and the um, bale doesn't even fit the top or touch the top of it. So it's like kind of wobbly, but I'm going to break into this and see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so they did put some packing on the side, which I absolutely love this accordion cardboard stuff. It's pretty cool. So they did wrap it in a big bag and you can see it is pretty packed in there. I'm trying to see what brand this is already. New York and Company. Looks like a Tommy Hilfiger print. Maybe some more Paisleys. What's this? Something, I don't know, I think it's inside out. Something athletic, but that is what it looks like. I've decided that carrying this whole bale, not the box, because I'm just gonna shred the box in the garage, but the bale of the plastic wrapped is still 100 pounds. And I have no interest in carrying it up the two small flights of stairs that I have. Um, so I'm going to start unpacking things, putting them in this box, and then carrying them upstairs in some trips. That seems to be the easiest thing to do. And I'll show you if I find anything really cool along the way. Here's what I've got in the box so far. I lost count at 29 pieces. I'm definitely at at least 35, maybe even 40. I had one tragedy. <laughs> one of the like shoulder strings or whatever, hanger strings, hanger, whatever you call those, those fell out because they are packed so tightly inside. Like you gotta pull on them really hard, but then I'm worried that I'm gonna pull on the fabric or I'm gonna break some buttons. And then they all have these little tags on them. And this thing keeps getting like caught up in the clothing. So I just have to be really careful with pulling everything out. Nothing amazing. I think the best brand I've seen so far is White House Black Market. Um, like here's a love stitch. That's actually not too bad. A lot of Target, some Walmart, Kohl's, but I wasn't really expecting much, especially for the cost of goods. You know, I figured it was going to be some lower end stuff and hopefully there's some gems inside. Just trying to see what this one is. No comment. And, um, they do all have the original price tags on them, which these prices are super cheap compared to my thrift stores. All 
right, I found a brand that I've never sourced or sold before. It's this cute little tunic top with this little, um, I totally forget what this is called, this little scallop hem, maybe. And yeah, that's exciting. Well, it has been a few weeks since I unboxed, well, I didn't really unbox it. I just took the stuff out of the box. So I guess technically it is an unboxing. It's been a few weeks since I did that. It is currently just taking up space in my reselling room and it's driving me crazy. So I think what I'm gonna do is separate them into piles of things I will sell, things I'm going to donate, and maybe things I'm gonna send to thread up, et cetera, et cetera. So let me flip you around and show you what it looks like. Okay, here is what the situation looks like. So this entire box is full and overflowing. This little bag is full. This box is full. This box is full and overflowing. And yes, there's even stuff in this box. So I'm gonna get to sorting and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I got through one overflowing box, this little bag over here, but I still have the other three boxes to go. Um, this pile, it's kind of a big pile. <laughs> it is everything that is either stained, damaged, or I'm not interested in selling it myself or sending it to thread up a lot of like really worn no name brand stuff in here this pile are things that are okay like they're in good condition but i just don't really see the value in me listing them and i can't send them to thread up this little pile here is to send to thread up surprisingly there were brands that i didn't really expect thread up to except like Express, Covington, um, St. John's Bay, like those are all department stores and New York and Company, if I didn't say that already. Um, yeah, so really surprising that they would take this stuff. And then here is my little pile that I will be listing so far. Nothing super exciting, a lot of um, Old Navy Universal Thread. Um, there is the limited silk tank top down here yeah so there are a few brands that I could send into thread up but I thought that they were cute enough that I could sell myself and that's all I'm gonna do for tonight until the next time okay it took me a few days but I finally got it all sorted into piles that I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do with this pile are items that are in good condition, but I don't want to sell them. I thought maybe mystery boxes or something like that. There's a lot of Y2K pieces. This bag is going to thread up. These three boxes are all being donated. And then this big box here, show you the side for comparison, I will be listing. I do have my overhead fan on because it is almost 90 degrees out. It's like a thousand percent humidity and my reselling space is above our garage. So the heat kind of rises. So if you hear that in the background, I apologize. But in order for me to not have a heat stroke <laughs> or pass out, the fan is needed. Um, so I have my receipt right here from America's Thrift Supply and they do go through Shopify when you place your order. Um, again, this came from Alabama. It is the Ladies Blouses Micro Bale 100 pounds. I paid $174.99. It was free shipping for me, but I'm not sure if the Micro Bales are free shipping anymore. I actually purchased this June 22nd of 2022, and I am now filming this on August 7th. So as you can see, it's taken me quite a while to go through it. <laughs> so I got a total of 335 pieces in the 100 pounds. That includes everything, everything I'm donating, everything I'm keeping, etc. There are 26 items that I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with, but they were in good enough condition for me to keep and possibly either sell myself or maybe do mystery boxes. There are 34 pieces I am sending to thread up. I am donating 133 pieces, which is a lot to me. I'm not used to going through mystery boxes and getting rid of that many pieces, but 
I was trying to be really selective this time because I know that I'm gonna have a lot of work ahead of me. So anything that I didn't think could bring me a good amount of money, like $10 or more, or if they were stained or broken or something like that, they went into the donate pile. And I am keeping one item for myself, which I'll show you. And then I'm keeping 141 items to resell myself by listing on my various platforms. So if you take the $174.99 of the box that I purchased, divided it by 335, that gives me an average cost per piece of 52 cents, which is awesome. However, since I'm only keeping a certain amount of items, I am keeping 167 items to sell. That's for the pile that I know I'm definitely reselling and then the 26 pieces that I'm not really sure what I'm doing with. And that comes to $1.05 per piece. Awesome, love the low cost of goods. It's almost like shopping at the bins, except I don't get to pick what's in the box. And the items that I'm sending to thread up, I have not included them in my inventory cost. So I am counting them as free to me items because then that way, if they don't sell, I don't need to reclaim them and I don't have to pay money to have them come back to me. And I'm not going to pay for expedited shipping. So it's basically just send it off and kind of forget it until they go through it and process it for me. So now that we got all the logistics out of the way, let me show you the pieces that I'm keeping, but I don't know what I'm doing with. The one piece I'm keeping for myself and then the pieces I'm sending to thread up. So this is the one piece that I'm keeping for myself. This is the brand Hester and Orchard, size large. Every single piece has America Thrift Supplies tag on it. So you'll see that they wanted $3.99. This actually does have some very small spots up here. You may not be able to see it. I haven't steamed or washed or done anything to these, so they will be wrinkly, but it's just a little button down shirt. Has this ribbed knit on the side, and I thought this would be like a good shirt for me to wear to work as business casual. Okay, so the pieces that I don't know what I'm gonna do with, but they were in good enough condition that I didn't wanna donate them or I couldn't send them to thread up. This has no brand, but it's super cute. Oh, that's the back. But it is super cute. Love the little lacy details. At first I thought this piece was vintage, just based off of the fabric and kind of the look of it, but it is a modern piece. No brand, just something from China. Uh, yeah, made in China. And then it does have a button closure with a keyhole opening in the back. There were a lot of pieces that I thought could be like Y2K. So I'm toying with the idea of maybe doing a Y2K mystery box. Um, when I think of Y2K, I think of halter tops really bright prints and like boot cut jeans. <laughs> I don't know why, maybe that's what I wore in Y2K. I mean, I didn't really wear any halter tops, but that's what I remember all the celebrities wearing and everything. So this is a Style & Co, size extra large, and it is this very loud print ruffle tiered top with what I think you're supposed to tie a bow with. Not really a style that's in right now, but I liked the colors and it's in good condition. Next up, we have a Rue 21 piece. This is an embellished tank top, plain black, zipper in the back. Another loud print. Actually, that's like the same colors as the other one. This is the brand New Directions, which I actually did get a lot of this brand in the box. I'm not really sure where it sold at, maybe a department store, but um, this was cute. Like the little ruffles up here, but this brand doesn't have a really great resale value, so not sure what I'm doing with that yet. This is a City Knit size medium blue, kind of like a slinky knit tank top. Another like same color as the other two blouses. This one is very lightweight and is kind of like a meshy material. This is the brand Worthington, which is sold at JCPenney, or at least it used to be. It is a size large, and it's got this like draping effect up here. One thing I will say about this box is I got a ton of tank tops, which never really sells well for me personally. So that was kind of a downside. Also, you'll see the brands I'm pulling out. There's nothing really special in this box. Um, there's a lot of bread and butter, which I'm okay with selling bread and butter, especially if I can get $10 or above for it, since my cost of goods is so low. Um, just was kind of a bummer that I didn't get any like nicer, higher end pieces. 
Speechless, this is a size large. Speechless, I believe, is a junior's brand. And this was very Y2K to me. Um, you know, a little tank top with the Empire waist. This floral print down here. Brown, kind of an ivory cream. And then just plain in the back. And we have a paper tee. This is a one sleeve or one strap. This thing is very confusing to be honest with you, but it's got the ruching on the side and it's got um, kind of like a draped effect look to it. And it is lined inside too. Next is a Sag Harbor piece, nothing special. It is a size 14. I think this might have been like with a set or something, but I thought it was really cute with the print. And then there are these inserts on the side to give kind of a contrast. This is total Barbie to me. That's exactly what I thought of. It is the brand Finesse. And it is a size medium and it is very stretchy little tank top with an ombre effect and it does have some like metallic knit to it. This is just a time and true tank top, but I really liked the print and it's nice and lightweight. Even though summer's almost over, it would be nice for summer. And again, I just like the tropical print and it's got a little bit of a high low hem. Ay, ay, ay. What is this? Oh, this is a vintage top. This is Anna Christie. Kind of hard to see it's a very shimmery tag and this is a vintage size four this is a button front top that i did not button so you have to use your imagination and it's just this bright hot pink button front shirt let's see what is it made out of because it feels kind of nice uh, just 100 percent polyester but very lightweight Next is a Valerie Stevens, which I also think is just sold at uh, department stores, size small. Again, with this like ruching effect at the neckline and an abstract pattern there. This one is also Worthington, size small. I do really like this print actually. I might list this one. This is just a no boundaries little tank top. It's got a halter neckline and then kind of like a geometric pattern to it, high low. And it is like a flare because it goes out <laughs> a lot. This honestly feels really cheap, but I liked it and I thought it was cute. I do think that this is an old Rue 21 piece because look at the paper tag underneath. This is a size extra large. It's this cute cap sleeve blouse. Has a faux pearl necklace with a little flower there. And it's just plain black in the back. Then we have, oh, this is wet seal. Which I don't even know, do they make wet seal anymore? Size small. Oh boy, okay. Loved the floral print on this though. Love the colors. And then it's kind of got like a scoop in the back neckline area. This is a vintage MHM, which stands for Melissa Harper. It is a petite. Is there a size in here? There is no size, but it is this cute little tank top that has this like micro micro houndstooth print to it. And then it does have a zipper in the back. And we have a faded glory, size medium. Just a cute little pocket tank top, high low hem. Another loud print from Grace Elements, size large. Has this little gathering at the bust area. I honestly will probably just end up listing these all myself. I thought about doing Y2K mystery boxes, but I'm not really sure if I have enough stuff to do mystery boxes with. I guess I'll just have to see when I start getting into it. This is an ambiance apparel, size large, little lightweight tank top with paisley, high low hem, exposed zipper in the back. This is an Anthony Richards, which I believe this is like part of a two or three piece set, size 10 petite. 
little keyhole opening in the back. This is just the brand JCPenney. So their house brand of JCPenney, <laughs> size medium. Kind of like a, what is this? Kind of like a chevron herringbone print. I like the colors on it. This is the brand, I totally forget what this brand is. Southern, no, not Southern, it's SO, but I forget what it stands for. But it is the perfect shirt, size small, a button front collared tank top with a dramatic high-low hem. This is the brand Milano. It feels kind of cheap, but I thought that it was a cute little top with a nice color, it has the smocking down here. And then the last piece is a Jeffrey Bean Sport, size large, and it is just a button front striped shirt with the contrasting stripes going the other way. And that's it for the pieces I'm not sure what to do with. So now we're going over the things that I'm sending to thread up. While I was organizing the items and putting them into piles, I pulled up a web page on thread up that if you put in the brand name, it'll actually tell you if it's eligible for a payout or ineligible for a payout. So with each of these brands, even though they're kind of lower end brands, they are still accepted. I'm not going to get paid much, but again, I'm sending these in as free to me items. So I'm okay with that. And I know that thread up recently did some changes to their website saying that if you send in the lower valued brands so like forever 21 unique glow there's a few other on their list they do not give you a payout for it but they will still accept it what they do with those items when they get them i'm not sure i don't know if they're still going to list them or if they're just going to put them in mystery boxes but i didn't put any of those brands in this box to send to them i figured i would just donate those brands so this first one is an Express, which surprisingly they took. This is a size extra small. I thought this was so cute. The little ruffle around the neckline. This is a smocked waist, and then it's kind of like a rounded hem, and it is this very fine mesh material, and it is a racer back in the back. Next up is this brand, which I'm really surprised that they took. This is Covington Essentials Petite. And it is a teal blue button front shirt, kind of like a three quarter length sleeve. Obviously I did go through these items to make sure there were no stains, no tears, anything like that. And I will definitely need to cut that off. I think a couple of them I'll need to steam as well because they don't steam their items when they get them. They just pull them out of the boxes and put them up on a mannequin. So I will have to do just a little bit of like maintenance on these items. And surprisingly, they're taking this brand, which is St. John's Bay, which is sold at JCPenney's. This is a size large, and this is a striped pink button front shirt, again, with the three quarter length sleeves. I actually got quite a few of this type of blouse in this box. Next is New York and Company, which they say they take as well, a size large. Nice little pink tank top with the ruffle there and then the jersey knit in the back. Next is an Izod shirt. This is a very like lightweight mesh material again, size extra large. I know Izod does a lot of uh, like golf or sporty clothing. So maybe this is part of their golf collection. I don't know. This is a brand I've never heard of, but it said that they accepted it. So I, I don't know, it's called Urit. And it looks like it's an older tag because it has the cotton thing on it. It's a size large, but I do believe this is a kid's or a girl's size large because it is pretty small and it's just a striped tunic or maybe even, no, it's definitely a tunic. It's not a mini dress. And it has these little ties on the sleeve and this like crazy flap that keeps flapping up. I gotta tuck it in. And then there's the back. It almost looks like a nightgown, but it's definitely too short to be a nightgown. This is Miley and Molly, and I almost said Mike and Molly, which is a TV show, or it used to be. Size small with the floral and striped pattern with this cute lace-up detail in front. Long sleeves. The keyhole neck in the back. Next, we have Love Fire. 
size large. Little floral button front shirt. This feels like a rayon material too. Next we have another New York and Company, I believe. Where on earth is the tag? Yeah, New York and Company. Size extra small, but this was super cute. I love the stripes, love the colors. Do I have it right? Yes, I do. Just kidding, I will not be sending this in. There is a huge snag down here, so um, I might list it myself if I can get the snag out, but it is a cute little top. It has a little tie in the back. Next we have a Jones New York signature, size large. Another button front shirt, pink striped, three quarter length sleeves. Another button front shirt. This is Live For Truth, which I've never heard of before, but thread up says they take it. Size small, this orangey, corally color. These are roll tab sleeves because they have the button and there's probably a strap here that you can roll them up to be three quarters if you want. Next is the brand Jonathan Martin. Size extra large. I've never heard of this brand before. It's a very a lightweight polyester material. Next we have St. John's Bay again, which if this would have fit me, I probably would have kept it because it's cute. Has a pattern to the material and it's kind of like a peasant popover blouse with a high low hem and three quarter length sleeves that are kind of sheer but it didn't fit so off it's going this is another express tank top size extra small wow this is very metallic-y got the ruffles up here and then it's a plain jersey knit lightweight material on the back Another express tank top. This is a size medium. And this one has this geometric aztec -y pattern to it with sequins. And then the back, this is so pretty. The back is just all lace. Surprisingly, they take Van Heusen, which I didn't really think that they would size large and it's a navy blue and white floral tank top this is jennifer lopez which is sold at kohl's or at least it used to be size large and this is a button front very long tank top it's almost like a tunic length i haven't buttoned it so it's not gonna look right and it is a high low hem and i just realized there's like a huge hole in the back Obviously you don't want to put your neck through it, but um, it's a little like air vent in the back, I guess. Next we have a Celebrity Pink Girls, size large, a little chambray button front top, has a little pocket with lace there. There are roll tab sleeves again on this one. And it does have a high low hem. Next is the brand 860 size large a maroon colored tank top with this cool uh like pleating effect up top this is a gilligan and o'malley which is sold at target and this is a sleepwear shirt and it's a size large very lightweight Good for sleeping in like the fall weather, which I am so looking forward to. It has been so hot. I just don't wanna sweat anymore. Next is a Ruby Road, size large. This is just an amazing color. Fluorescent highlighter green color. This is a very like stretchy and comfortable fabric. And then it has these little bedazzled beads up top. Next is the brand Bandolino, size large. This is a very lightweight and very gauzy type material. Roll tab sleeves, it is button front. That is a longer tunic length. And it has these 
pin tuck pleats up top too. Another gauzy feeling shirt. This is the brand, again, New Directions. And another bright color shirt. Little pockets up top. It looks like it's a Henley cut, roll tab sleeves, and a high-low hem. Next is the brand KLD Signature. I've never heard of this brand. Thread up says they take it. It is a purple tank top high-low hem and some pleating up front and a keyhole opening in the back. There's a lot of high-low hems in this box too, I just was realizing. Next is another New Directions, which I'm not gonna show you over and over again because you've seen it once. You'll probably remember it by now. This is a tank top with kind of like a surplus opening. There's a one button up front and then it kind of like gathers down here, but it's made to look like a wrap top. And there is elastic on the bottom too. Next is Liz Claiborne. I actually do sell Liz Claiborne myself, but I was, like I said, I was trying to be really picky, so I didn't really want to list it myself. Size medium, little tank top with some pleating details up top here with a keyhole neckline up front. I like the print on this one and obviously the color. Same color. Next is a Simply Vera by Vera Wang, which is sold at Kohl's, size petite small. This is a white top and surprisingly, it did not have any stains on it. At least not while I looked through it. I will obviously be putting all of these under my ring light to make sure that there are no stains on them. Next is another Covington Essentials, size large. This is like a black and white stripe, just making sure it wasn't navy. Button front shirt. Next is a Roz and Alley. Love this color. It's a beautiful color. Um, collar tank top, button front. Almost has like a metallic sheen to it too, depending on the lighting. Next is the brand L which I believe is also sold at department stores, Kohl's, things like that. That's cute. I love the little ruffles up front and the whole grid pattern, very lightweight. Next is another New Directions, size large. This has a mock neck to it. And then there's the tank top body with all these ruffles and it is aligned underneath as well. Oh, there's like stripes underneath. This is another New Directions, size small. This is very see-through. Like you definitely want to wear a tank top underneath or something. Maybe it did come with a tank top. Button front, love this print and the color and a very, very dramatic high-low hem. Next is the brand French Connection, size medium. Little lightweight tank top. I do like the V effect up front, and this is just a jersey knit material. And then the last item I'm sending to thread up is a St. John's Bay shirt, uh, size large in this peachy color with three quarter length sleeves. Okay, well that concludes the part one of this America's Thrift Supply unboxing. I showed you the things I'm setting to thread up. I showed you the things that I wasn't sure I wanted to do with, which I will honestly probably just list. And in the part two video, I'm going to show you everything that I'm keeping to resell myself. I will not be going over the items that I'm donating because there are three boxes full, um, over a hundred items and none of them are special. There's a lot of pieces that don't have size tags or brand tags. A lot of them are stained. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. That way you'll know when part two comes out. You can also hit the bell notification and YouTube will tell you when part two is out, which will probably be in a couple of days. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in part two. Bye.